Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. How you can start creating content at scale so that you can reach your audience and create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, before we get started on this podcast today, I just want to pause and ask you a simple question. Why do people come to the internet? Did you get the answer? Why do people come to the internet? I want you to just think about that. Is it because they want to watch YouTube videos or is it because they want to chat with their friends on Facebook or do they want to watch cat videos online? I mean, of course, of course, some people come to the internet for that. But as a coach, consultant and a small business owner, you are always trying to connect with an audience so that you can help them solve their problems. Now, you would now understand that people are coming to the internet to get entertainment and information, and eventually shopping. Now, which of these categories are you actually fulfilling on the journey that your customers have um, in order for them to have a happier existence? You know, now, there was a survey that was conducted, and it does say that almost 96% of people come to the internet to learn something new. Okay, and what is it that you're doing within your business in order for you to do that? And how are you staying consistent enough so that people will actually come back for more? Because I know one thing for sure, when you're developing your social media messaging, there's always that knee-jerk reaction in how do you actually create content at scale? You know what I mean? And and it's not an unfounded sort of uh, best practice or it's not an unfounded problem that a lot of people have because all we just want to do is um, be there for our audiences. All we just want to do is uh, solve people's problems. None of this tinkering with technology, none of this tinkering with social media, and also having to navigate this whole sea of you know, unfounded knowledge from seemingly gurus out there. And how do we actually then um, utilize social media, um, you know, in, in such a way that it actually helps us be, do, and have a happier existence? So I'm going to try and elaborate all of those and answer all of those questions um, in this podcast uh, just so we can, um, you know, help you out there. So, one thing that we absolutely know is that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So if you're providing information that is helping people solve problems out there, then they really appreciate that. And they will start to trust you more and remark on your content and even tell people about you at a barbecue, which actually increases the chances of them buying from you or having other people buy um, from you. But however, it takes trust, it takes time, it takes effort for you to be able to educate and engage and actually build a, build a good relationship um, at multiple stages of your marketing funnel. And social media happens to be a really good tool um, for you to be able to do that at scale without losing your brain, okay? But all you got to do is um, make sure that you're providing value in the process and you're not just spraying and praying uh, with your posts out there um, just so that people can start listening to you. I have a rule. Uh, basically, in my business, I tell my staff and everybody else that we work with that we do not pitch until we provided enough value. So by doing this, if you adopt this maxim in your business, you actually um, you won't have to explain yourself to clients in the future 
uh, about what you do or why you're different every time, which is what all the other coaches and consultants are forced to do. And that's why they can keep up with the insatiable demand of content on social media that is needed out there. Okay, so once you have all of this in place, can you riddle me this? How much time will you save if you never have to explain yourself again? You know, when you're only talking to people that know, like, and trust you and you're converting them uh, every single time to become your customers and ambassadors, this actually would make a huge difference um, in your business and actually lowers your marketing spend. But all of this doesn't just happen by itself, all right? So when you're developing your message and you're trying to uh, reach out to this audience every single time, it's not easy. And I acknowledge that, okay? Because at the end of the day, this is what all coaches and consultants are trying to achieve. They're trying to reach the correct audience. They're trying to engage with relevant content and motivate their audience to take a desired action. How do you do this now without, um, you know, burning out, so to speak? And how do you do this uh, in order to stand out in a world of me too coaches, consultants out there, you know? And no matter what stage you are in your business, you're always looking at these key questions and they need to be answered that I've just mentioned, um, you know, uh, before. You want to know, how do I overcome the clutter of online information, the social media hype and the overwhelming technologies, misguidance, misinformation online, and create business success by building an online empire so it stands out from everybody else. And maybe you're asking yourself, how do I organize and leverage my business effectively online so you can connect with your audience, increase sales, and get loyalty from your customers to get the business breakthrough that you need to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I know, and I can guarantee as a coach, consultant, or entrepreneur, you're asking yourself, how do I find the right online business strategy to get my audience energized, engaged, and help build my online business so that I can uh, reach out to as many people that I can be able to help out so they have a happier existence, okay? So let's be realistic. When you start um, a coaching or small business owner, most people are struggling just to post on social media consistently. You know why? Because our audience are bombarded with information from uh, people that they connected with a long time ago that are also vying for their attention and attention spans have dwindled. So it means we have to be consistent in order to reach out our target market while we're uh, clarifying our message all the time. And most of the coaches and consultants that we speak to, um, you know, are struggling to post just consistently online for them to just keep afloat. You know, one of the things that could be happening is you can't afford to have somebody doing it full time, like what other coaches and consultants have. And you feel like you've said all that you can say about your business. There's nothing more that you can say without having to repeat yourself. And you're not sure what content is actually resonating with your customers and which one is not. And one of the things that I come across with a lot of uh, coaches and consultants is they haven't figured out, um, you know, you know that most social media posts won't even be seen unless they have boosted that post or assigned some sort of budget behind them. And one thing that I know a lot of coaches and consultants are going through is they're not convinced that social media is doing anything anyway. Now, I know this last point that, you know, you think that social media is not doing anything is um, is, a, is, is very annoying, you know, especially to a marketing professional like myself, because in a lot of cases, our clients, they probably have tried doing social media by themselves. And we understand it's complicated, it's confused, and it just feels 
like a clock sucker. You know what I mean? Clock, clock. Don't get it all twisted, right? It it, it, it takes away their time because they're trying to um, feed this insatiable demand that their audience has around creating content. And most of the clients that we have, they're not familiar with the best practices of social media. Okay, let me point something to you right now. Um, in the last five years, we have seen the biggest internet heist of all times. Right, so there's a company called Snapchat. Um, if you're not a millennial or if you're maybe a boomer, you might not know what Snapchat does. Snapchat is a, a, a platform where you take a photo and then it disappears, I think, in 24 hours or something like that. And that was going so well amongst the, the youth of, of that time. Up until Facebook ripped off all of that, um, you know, idea, and then they placed it, and now it's called Instagram Stories, and now it's called Facebook Stories. Now, if somebody would have built their business around Snapchat, now they have to actually go in and start all over again, um, you know, to 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 build and garner an audience around, uh, you know, their stories that they're doing each and every day. So, in many cases, a lot of businesses. They have limited knowledge on where their customers actually are, what demographies are using, what platforms, and what personas actually respond to their content. And this might take up a lot of time, money, and effort to get it right. Because once you've identified your target market and you've clarified your message, it will be so easy for you to determine what media you can be you can start use to capturing leads in order to turn them into customer so a lot of people are not familiar with that and obviously a lot of business people like coaches and consultants they just keep throwing money into something that um you know they 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 know is not working for them and they're just hoping that maybe something would stick and in this case let me tell you something i'd recommend creating content so that it can actually be utilized across your social media landscape all right so we've got linkedin we've got twitter we've got instagram we've got that snapchat that i was talking about now there's another one TikTok. people don't even know where to go you know and 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 they don't know what flow to use and how to actually approach this and yes i know it's not the best practice to be found on every platform but like i mentioned earlier on a lot of our um coaches and consultants they have a lot of limited knowledge as to where their customer and demographies and personas actually reside all right i mean it's 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 it's, it's a known factor that as a coach or consultant Marketing is not just one aspect of you running a successful business. You got to hire people. You want to manage new stuff. You want to balance the books. You want to drive growth and a lot more. And it actually feels like a constant balance, balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions just to make a dollar every single day that you're existing online. And it, it's painful because some of us are really good at what we're doing. Some of us are well-educated. I mean, some consultants have got an alphabet soup on their LinkedIn showing all the credentials that they have, but they can't construct an engaging social media post. And it's not their fault because we, we had to learn all of this stuff. All right, we had to figure it all out. So nevertheless, we've got Live Long Digital and Prosper to help you navigate, um, you know, this um, uh, sea of me too content that's out there for you to stand out and actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I want you to understand one thing. You are not alone. Okay, so I want to introduce you to something called Create Once use many repeat after me create once use many go thank you nah <laughs> so let's say for example you're working with um with a client maybe your coach or consultant and you have um that you maybe have uh limited or minimum access to so it is your best interest to maximize the opportunity that you have with that client anytime that you are speaking to them okay and also you need to be speaking um you need to be creating um you know content for them behind the scenes so that they're utilizing in between um you know your sessions with them okay so 
let's put it at this. You're creating content for, let's say, a conference or a live event. First of all, you need to determine the social media channels that you will need to target for this content because not all social media platforms are created equal and then after you do that you put together an equivalent of uh maybe you know in our world we refer to as a short list okay what do you need in order to make sure that this post is gonna come out the best all right and and it's gonna come out in the way that you intended it to all right so this is when you will be uh creating a content list of items you hope to aggregate during that event that we spoke about and let's say it could be photos or it could be video all right so you want to make sure you've got the best photographer you've got the best lighting you've got the best sound because you're out there creating content you're not going to duplicate this ever again it won't be televised or it won't happen again so utilize any opportunity or any chance that you have in speaking your message um you know as a as a method or as a way to actually create this content. And once you've done that, you need to have a basic understanding of the types of content that you might collect during this event that you're doing. So more often than not, um, you could use, uh, you could get photos done, you could get videos done, you could wire yourself and do an audio uh, done so that it can be turned into a podcast, the video can be put on YouTube, and the photos would then be utilized in and around your marketing collateral. And then, you can also get a lot of mileage out of digital white papers or whatever presentations or slides that you might have created for this event um, out there. So if you understand what I'm saying here, you've got one event that can now create a myriad of you know collateral that you can then start using uh, in between takes or in between um, events or whenever you now have access to your next to your client and then pretty much after that determine what type of content you're going to create after that so this will range from maybe behind the scenes the things that you're doing to prepare yourself for that um you know footage you can create what's called men on the street footage which is basically um you know you're an industry or a, a, a corporate overview of the products and services that are going to be showcased uh, at this uh, particular event and you might want to lean in on whatever um, pain points that you are going to be solving for your clients uh, especially on on this particular um, you know event or this particular conference all right so can you see how much you would possibly would have done um just while you're waiting for the event to get started you can actually start interviewing people or participants in that um you know event that also can be content that you can utilize all right a lot of people don't do that a lot of people don't utilize every single muscle of time that they have around other people um they just go in do the event and then they walk out but that's a place where you can actually create the most content and create the most social proof for your business without even trying because it's already there it will cost you a lot more more money time and effort to try and arrange that and maybe have extras or people that are just sitting in um while you're trying to create collateral for your uh social media then and once you do that, decide whether you distribute this content on the fly or in real time, or if you want to intend to then edit it and polish it and then redistribute it at a later date. You know, um, I have often used um, people that are sort of like street teams of, of young social professionals to actually go in and collect content during the event so these people walk around with a camera they just record people and then they're just taking um the scenario or just taking the scene in and then we can then chop up all these pieces of content to then utilize uh, at a later date and on a side note you can never have enough content okay back in the time we used to have uh you know tape to record all this information you are never going to run out of tape in the 21st century because we've got gigabytes we've got terabytes where you can store all of this information and as long as you're not going to change your appearance anytime soon i use photos from like five years ago as if it's something that happened yesterday that's why i always have 
constant information and content coming out there. And the best thing about social media these days is you're given a memory of the post that you posted prior. So you can just keep reusing all of that information in order for you to stay relevant and to keep passing on information to people that uh, haven't quite known you so that they get to know you, like you, and trust you. And remember, when we started this podcast, we mentioned the fact that people are coming to the internet to get information and you're going to need maybe 7 to 12 touch points. When you are not doing stuff, use content that you have gathered from your live events or when you were doing client meetings in order for you to stay relevant in front of your audience. And now when you um, have all of this information, okay, like I said, you can never have enough content. So take advantage of an opportunity to shoot as many photos or as many videos as you can record um, and, 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 and put together a series of interviews for whoever has showed up for this event. Because this material can always be repurposed at a later time. Things are open now. When you're doing your events or when you're doing your uh, meetings or your, uh, you know, I don't know how you run your business. Whenever you have a few people around, just ask them about why they showed up. Record that stuff. That can be content that you can utilize later on when you're doing, uh, you know, your marketing. And this is where the rubber meets the road. How do you intend to then take one piece of content and distribute it across multiple channels in a way that feels appropriate for that particular network or audience? This, ladies and gentlemen, is an art form. And as part um, you scheduling, it's part you telling a story, and it's being channel specific to the audience and being relevant is something that we all need to learn um, how to do. Just, just allow me to explain this practice in content marketing. Okay, let's take maybe the five examples um, that I mentioned earlier on. So you, you, you probably have a video that you created on a live event. Uh, or you record all your sales calls or whatever you do in order to get customers and you are speaking to somebody who you can actually solve a problem for. So you can take a five-minute video with your customer. Um, obviously, it won't be perfect in one take, all right? But also keep in mind that, you know, no one in their right mind is going to sit around and maybe watch a five-minute YouTube video if they don't quite know you yet. So therefore, you want to do a little post uh, production and cut it into and cut out as many of the errors, the ums, the ahs, and all the other irrelevant meta. What that does is it ta- it's, it 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 um shrinks it down to maybe thirty to forty five seconds, and then you introduce that to people that don't quite know you yet. All right. Now take another look at this content and see. Um, what, what you can use it for. You can use it as your stories that I mentioned earlier on. You can use it as a 30 to 45 second, uh, uh, YouTube video, and you can even have smaller 10 to 15 seconds that you can then, uh, see if you can not start a TikTok, um, you know, audience, just educating people on what it is that you do and how you solve problems. All right. Now let's take a point. Uh, maybe ourselves and develop, you know, maybe a a campaign for this content. You now establish uh, a few social media posts from just that one piece of content that you created from the start. And that is called, um, you know, um, repurposing your content. All right. All that you are doing, all that you're creating is a way that you are actually, um, reaching out to your audience in a way that is meaningful to them, okay? Most of the time, we are trying to uh, create new stuff, new content, and new um, information. But guess what? What we already have is enough. We just need to repurpose it because not everyone is watching us. Not everyone is listening to our content um, 24-7, all right? So we are always reaching out to new audiences. We're always reaching out to, um, you know, new clients. So at the end of the day, if you make sure that you just 
you know, co co collect your information once and then you redistribute it uh, to many people, you will have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. If you look at how we create this uh, podcast or how I create my content, it might just be from a theme that I'm working on throughout the whole week. And then I just sit down and I record this podcast um, through Zoom. And if you look on YouTube, there's an exact video of me speaking into a microphone, uh, you know, the very same content. Because the people that are approaching our business from YouTube are not going to be the same people that are approaching our business uh, from a podcast, all right? So I definitely know that you will be successful if you just continuously uh, show up to your audience and create for them and Guess what? Once you've got content, you no longer have to repeat yourself um, each and every time about what it is that you do. You will have a queue of dream clients who will climb all over each other just to give you their money. You don't believe me? you actually be able to grow your business to seven figures, eight figures, nine figures, or whatever it is that you want. And this can be done over the next two years and you never have to cold call another client ever again and i guarantee you never have to send yet another email that just gets ignored and you never have to lie awake at night wondering where your next customer is going to come from and you finally start enjoying the growth of your business and you have financial security and start living life on your own terms i know this sounds good and it's awesome and you can actually start living this and I, I can go into more detail about this game changing methods but at the end of the day if you notice that every day every single day i'm showing up and it's not about coming up with new content but all i'm just doing is making sure that i'm um putting out stuff that people can actually utilize and i'm making sure that the information that i'm putting out there uh, will help you Organize and leverage your business effectively online so you can actually connect with your audience. Now, I, I better go and start creating content for my audience and um, do things within my business. But I want you to maybe take this time to schedule a call with me so that we can have a chat and see what it is that you're doing and pull out all the relevant information that you have already that you can actually start creating uh, content around so that you don't have to pull out, um, you know, your hairs just so that you stay relevant online. If you've enjoyed this uh, podcast, why don't you subscribe to our channel so that you consistently uh, get tips like this every single day uh, so that you can create a business that's profitable and, enjo and enjoyable. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.